How's it going? Welcome back, boys and girls, to another great video here on the Majestical Savior Show. That's right, guys. And yes, that's right. I am talking about. <laughs> you guessed it, Rick and Morty once again, guys. This is my fourth video, believe it or not, on Rick and Morty. And guys, I think this is gonna be my last video <laughs> on Rick and Morty. And I'm not just saying that, okay? I'm gonna leave a playlist at the end of this video if you wanna check out the other videos because. I've pretty much given up now on Rick and Morty. I feel like Rick and Morty Season 4 sucks so bad and Rick and Morty 4, sorry, Rick and Morty Season 4 is just a complete disaster, okay? Rick and Morty is just a disaster now and it's very sad to say, but that's just my opinions, okay? And if you want to hear what I said last time, just like I said, go check out those videos and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and tell me your opinions down below because I love arguing with Rick and Morty fanboys because it's just hilarious, okay? Just because you like something doesn't mean that other people can't have an opinion. I know, crazy world we live in, guys. People can actually have opinions. Pretty crazy. And thankfully, I found a lot of people who agree with me and I've talked to so many of you in the comments and it's really nice to see I'm not the only one afraid to call out you know this corporate bullshit that we see going on more and more these days where things just are pushed to the absolute limit you know they are just repackaged reshipped re remade or remade or sequeled you know they are pushed beyond you know any kind of good entertainment value that's left okay i mean westworld i i mean game of thrones rick and morty just there's so many movies out there that don't need to exist you know we live in a consumer capitalist world and Rick and Morty has now fallen down into the complete shitter because they have signed a contract which I've said before where they basically will produce videos forever and ever I don't know how many seasons but too many that's for sure and it's not the fact that they are going to produce so many episodes that's not the problem okay the problem is I really used to love Rick and Morty, okay? I had such high hopes for a show, I thought I would never get bored. I thought, hey, every episode is gonna make me laugh and I'm going to enjoy every single one. And yes, I haven't actually boycotted Rick and Morty yet. I am still watching season four, holding out hope that it's going to get better, holding out hope that it's going to improve. But from what I've seen so far, there have been four new episodes as you know of recording this right now. Um, and all of them are complete trash, okay? I think one of them was kind of good, but Rick and Morty has fallen into this really bad formula of just comedy writing, okay? The writing stuff, and I'm not calling out gender, politics, or anything like that, but it seems they've hired a lot of women, and they've hired a lot of writers who have worked on shit before, and now the jokes, they just don't make sense like they used to you know they don't have context behind them and that's what I tried to make a point out of last time is you need a context to make a good joke okay that's what I think because if you just do a random oh wow this is so random you know that kind of random humor that family guy does it's not really that funny okay unless if you're you know a nine-year-old unless if you're a child you won't find random humor without any kind of uh, you know intelligence going behind it it's not that good okay and Rick and Morty now has fallen into this trap where they seem to have given up on an overarching story with the characters it doesn't feel like they are developing anymore it doesn't feel like they're even going on you know these these episodes adventures like they used to okay like the classic adventures it seems like they just kind of bumble around and do random stuff and the jokes just don't land anymore you know the first two seasons of Rick and Morty I would re-watch them so many times because they were great they were of all high quality you know you could see the innocent transformation of Morty becoming more and more nihilistic and you know Rick just his complete you know mad genius you know that's what was good about it okay and now Rick is just so overpowered he's practically a god it never feels like there's any danger any risk Morty has basically become a complete stale asshole and the over the overarching you know family dynamic is just completely stagnant okay you know Beth 
doesn't seem to be making any changes, there's no kind of development going on with her. Jerry is just a complete idiot, you know, there was an interesting scenario in the previous season where, you know, they had a divorce and, you know, you thought, oh, things might change, but then it just reverts back to normal. And uh, the same problem with the daughter, Summer, you know, she's basically just become exactly like Morty. It doesn't seem to matter if so many people die, she doesn't seem to care anymore, which I find a little bit weird and it just, you know, obviously it's a cartoon show at the end of the day and it's trying to make you laugh, it doesn't have to be super realistic, but the great thing about Rick and Morty before was it was grounded, it made you feel connected to the characters, the story, and you know, you actually had, you know, these really emotional moments or these moments where they actually made you question things in your own life or the surrounding universe, you know, it was really clever with its style of comedy, now it's just all improv with no actual, uh, you know, kind of thought behind it, okay, it's just, it's just all smoke and mirrors is what I feel like, and it's a real shame, they go on these long winded, you know, like, sections in the episodes now where, like the snake part or the dragging part or in this new one where Rick and Morty gets separated and Morty basically has this really cool time device and that's a really interesting concept. They could have done some really cool stuff with that but no, it's just a really badly put together montage and there's this, you know, section where, you know, nothing is actually happening. It's just, you know, music and him and Morty meeting a girl and, you know, it's just terribly done. And, you know, they, they've done, they do this a lot now, where it's basically filler. They just try and push out an episode to as long as they can. So they say, oh, this is another one done. Because they know now that they actually have to make a lot of episodes. And the level of quality is just completely falling down the rabbit hole, okay? And that's my problem with Rick and Morty. And that's why I feel Rick and Morty Season 4 still sucks. And I don't see it getting any better. I don't see any overarching story like, you know... Before, with Rick, you know, he had friends around him, he had, you know, the intel you know, the government, the, the, the space government, I can't remember what they're called, the, you know, intergalactic government, whatever, the federation, I can't remember exactly, but anyway, he had, a, you know, an actual enemy, and, you know, it was very clear he was against something, and there were different dynamics of, you know, different stories coming together and that's what made it interesting okay but now there isn't any overarching story there is no character development the humor has completely dried up and there is no context behind anything it just tries to be random i haven't it's not just the story that's the problem because i don't watch rick and morty funny enough because it's an amazing story or you know it's so intelligent and it's so deep okay you know i know that's a running joke that you know it's super smart but i usually watch it because it's funny and it's intelligent in, you know, the way it makes you question things and just the overarching kind of narrative. But now, there is none of that, I feel. There is completely none of that left over. And that's what really just makes me sad. And I really hope that they're going to pick it up. But I've, you know, talked about it since I noticed there was a problem and they haven't changed anything so far. And it seems like last time it was basically a complete slap in the face to all the fans. And I feel like it's not going to improve. It's just going to keep getting worse and worse. Um, like I said, they have definitely changed staff. And that's why the writing is suffering. And also the whole contract issue. But, you know, <laughs> they know now that Rick and Morty is so popular. So it doesn't actually deserve its popularity. Because they can just basically put anything out there and the fanboys will love it even when it doesn't deserve it because it's just become so sloppy and it's just not funny it's just not funny anymore and you know it's just stagnant okay even when they are meant to just be you know be standoff adventures they don't actually even follow their own story in one episode you know it goes off it doesn't take itself I mean Rick and Morty shouldn't take itself seriously it never should but it doesn't even kind of follow the rules of its own world anymore it's just so random and out of place and it's just completely lost track of what made Rick and Morty so good in the first place and that's why I think it's it's not gonna improve it's just gonna keep getting worse and after this season if it's still terrible I will stop watching and you know it's just a sad reality and that's just my opinion let me know yours in the comments down below and 
you know, if you agree with me, I think that the only thing we can do is basically stop watching if it doesn't improve because we can't really do anything else. They're, you know, going to make so much money that they're just going to complete, you know, completely ruin the whole franchise and they're just going to produce so much crap. Um, and we can't really do anything about it. It's, it's a real shame because this was something that captured this generation so well, but now it just kind of feels like it's so nihilistic to the point of, you know, trying to be woke and aware and, you know, you know, it's trying to be, like, self-aware, but it's gone over the point of actually being funny and it's basically become the very thing that it tried to make fun of in the first place. And that's just my little opinion on it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. Have yourself a blessed day and peace out.